we've now surpassed the 400,000 mark for the number of deaths. And to, to put that in contrast, that is roughly the population of Belize. That's the number of people that have died. A little more scary than that is we only hit 300,000 in December. And so to have already hit 400,000, we are likely to hit 500,000 sometime in February. So averaging 3,000 deaths per day, there was a need to do something and to take strong action. So what the Biden administration has done is put together a comprehensive strategy. And I get that there are parts of that strategy that are tough, particularly when you're trying to balance the effort to increase economic development, to increase tourism that's so important to Belize. But at the same time, for US, for the US, you know, we have to be looking at the public health implications. So the administration released a comprehensive strategy. One part of that was to say, frankly, don't travel. And that was the guidance. You shouldn't travel unless it's entirely necessary. If you're going to travel, then when you come to re-enter the United States, you will need to take a COVID test and show that you're negative before you board a plane. It's a little bit different than Belize is doing in that Belize lets you board the plane, then you come down, and then you either show a test or get tested. Um, and so in many ways, that's no different. Now, the part about quarantining, that is guidance. Those are recommendations. The CDC recommends that you get tested before you travel, 